بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دیئر سٹوڈنٹ ہوپ یو آل آر گڈ اینڈ سیف ایٹ یور ہومس آئی ایم یور سائنس ٹیچر فرام پہری کالجز بی این ای ٹی وچ پرووائڈنگ اے ویلتھ آف انفارمیشن اینڈ فن کانٹینٹ ان اے سیف پیرنٹ سپروائزڈ انوائرمنٹ ٹوڈے آئی بریفلی ایکسپلین یور فرسٹ فرام سائنس سلیبس وچ کنسسٹ آف لیسن فور اور سائنسز Lesson 5, Food and Diet and Lesson 10, Heat and Light. At first, I'll explain the first lesson or senses and then we will solve its belonging worships. Let's start. There are five senses which we have and what are these five senses are? The sense of sight, sense of hearing. sense of taste sense of smell and sense of touch let's talk about first sense the sense of sight we use our eyes to see the things just like right now you are looking at this screen your eyes help you to see things just like how it will help us to see what's next These are the ears. They help you to hear. Your ears help you hear. So whatever you hear beautiful things like birds chirping or a car blowing its horn. You know, it's your sense of hearing. Your tongue help you to taste different kinds of food. Whether it's spicy, sour, sweet. or bitter you know it's all because of sense of taste now the next sense is smell yes your nose your nose help you to smell different things it could be something stinky like garbage you or something delicious like a mug of hot chocolate yummy The last sense is the sense of touch. You use your hands to touch things. It helps you to feel things when you touch clay and touch a wood. Do they feel different to you? Does clay seem soft and smooth and wood seems hard and rough? Your skins help you know whether something is hot or cold, liquid and solid, soft all hard now it's time to solve worksheet in worksheet 1 we have to choose the appropriate word from the bottom related to the body parts as we use eyes for sight nose to smell ears to hearing tongue to taste and in the end we use hand to touch in worksheet 2 we have to identify the correct sounds like i see with my eyes i hear with my ears i taste with my tongue i touch with my hands i smell with my nose Now it's time for unit 5 food and diet. Dear students, we eat a variety of food in our daily routine. Some of them are healthy, which we should include commonly in our diet. Just like fruit and vegetables. While some are unhealthy, which we should try to avoid. Now look carefully at this pyramid. the things at the bottom we should involve most commonly in our diet like bread cereals rice water etc and then on the second number we should intake fruit and vegetables commonly and the milk yogurt meat egg should be taken in a conscious way but the food from the top of this pyramid 
should be taken rarely because they are injurious to your health. In worship 3, you have to color and draw the line to appropriate food type on pyramid as I done. In worksheet 4, you have to take the following food that you think are good for you like apple, vegetables and orange, banana and fish are healthy for you while the chicken, chips, chocolate and the french fries are unhealthy for you. So put tick on the healthy food. Now it's time for our last unit, unit 10, heat and light. Sun is the biggest source of heat and light. Heat and light both are form of energy. Heat and light are very necessary for us because they help us to see things, to keep our earth warm and to help plants to make their food. In this lesson, we will learn the properties of light and heat. First, we will discuss the light. Light can travel through some objects. Objects through which light cannot pass, known as opaque objects. The examples are wood, iron and other solid materials. While the translucent materials are those from which some light can pass, like color sheets, tissue paper etc and the materials through which all light can pass and we can see clearly through them known as transparent materials like glass now let's talk about heat property heat can also travel through different objects and the heat transformation from one object to another object is known as conduction the materials through which heat can travel quickly, known as good conductors of heat, like copper, aluminium, iron, brass, etc. While the materials through which heat cannot pass easily, known as bad conductor of heat, and we also call them insulators, like cotton, paper, plastic, wood, etc. In worksheet 5, under each image, you have to determine the form of energy. Either the picture belongs to heat, light or sound energy, like torch, bulb and candle belongs to light energy. Sun is the picture which belongs to both heat and light energy while the fire and the kettle belongs to heat energy and iron too and the remaining things like guitar harmonica and drums tape recorder belong to sound energy in worksheet six you have to identify the object type given below and write in correct box like door, brick wall belongs to opaque objects and toilet paper, stained glass are translucent object and the transparent objects are eyeglasses, magnifying glass, fish bowl and glass window. Our last worksheet, worksheet number 7 belongs to good conductors and bad conductors of heat frying pan, saucepan and the electric bulb are belongs to good conductor while the kettle I think it's a serving kettle it belongs to a bad conductor but if it metallic kettle then it will include it in good conductor and the remaining things are belong to bad conductor group Okay students, it's time to take leave for me. Hope everything is clear to you. Take care of yourself and your family. Thank you. And Allah Hafiz.